is the Solana NFT bull run back or are we in for just another disaster? Folks, in today's video, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about where I see Solana NFTs going here in the near future, some really good signs that I've personally noticed and a lot more. So if you guys are new, you know what to do, drop a like, subscribe, and let's get right into it, folks. So the main thing that I wanted to talk about and kind of just show you guys that I am at least picking up on right now is a couple of very important trends. So the first trend that is very, very important, that I think a lot of people maybe have noticed and maybe haven't is the airdrops. So one of the main airdrops which happened uh, is for Bonk, which is a very popular token. And there's going to be another airdrop, I guess, soon for Gods, the Soul Gods, uh, obviously, which are a very, very popular project. Um, but what's very, very cool is there are all these different derivatives of these tokens. So uh, Bonk's is going to be uh, a free profile picture for every God that they have. So uh, they'll be able to claim that from the snapshot. Uh, and then obviously D gods, if you guys have not been following them, got around $700 per D god for free from the Franck token. So there are a lot of different tokens that are coming out that I think people um, maybe are looking at and maybe aren't. But all these different tokens that are coming out um, basically from thin air, it looks like, uh, are going to be a great opportunity for people to make some free freaking money. I mean, hey, who can't love that, right? So obviously the Franck token uh, is going to be absolutely huge and at least was. Uh, for a little while. So uh, if we were to take a look at their Twitter here, you guys can see uh, they have all these different farms on Radium. Uh, the price of Franc has been relatively stable uh, over at least the past uh, 24 hours or so. They they saw a little bit of a dip, uh, and thankfully I was able to sell somewhat on the higher end, but uh, I did keep around half to let ride. Uh, and I think a lot of people also um, are going to be holding on to some of their Franc as well. So uh, again, this is just a very popular token, which came out as a derivative of bonk so uh again kind of funny when you think about it but ultimately uh i do think a lot of these will have potential and encourage people to pick up obviously nfts like d gods so that's kind of the first thing that came to my mind at least uh being the fact that airdrops at the moment seem to be like somewhat of a good option uh, for people looking to go and make some extra money by just holding on to an NFT. Now, another thing, at least I would say the second probably uh, sign that I'm sort of taking note of is a lot of very old projects, projects that, you know, people probably thought were dead a long time ago, especially during the first Solana crash. Those are coming back uh, to some degree, even with the price of Solana actively creeping up. And that's something we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. So the first thing I noticed, obviously, uh, is projects like OK Bears, which for a little while were sitting at like 30 Solana. I mean, just virtually nothing compared to what they were. And again, remember, these guys are at a floor of like 200 while Solana was going for, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks. So again, they're worth nowhere near what they were worth. But regardless, um, I do think these guys will benefit, obviously, from airdrops as well in the future. And if we are to take a look at their activity, the price activity, obviously, um, they're still selling a very decent amount. And if we take a look at how the price has grown uh, over, say, the past, you know, couple of months or whatnot, um, we're going to obviously zoom out here. Um, and you guys can see for the longest time, uh, you know, they were sitting at like, you know, if we go back to like December, they were seeing a floor of like, eh, you know, mid 50s. And then obviously, right now, we're at the low 60s, uh, with a little bit of a peak here around Christmas time, up to 85. Um, but when you zoom out and even look at the bigger picture, uh, they hit a low here of around 24 in November, 24 uh, Solana for OK Bears, which is just honestly abysmal. And these guys were able to bring that largely back, which is great to see. Other projects, famous Fox Federation, uh, are still killing it. You know, these guys are doing better now than they actually were even when Solana was valued higher. So uh, when Solana was like, you know, 50, 60, 70 bucks, these guys had a floor of like 30 or 40. But right now they're actually higher at a floor of 75 or so, even with Solana not doing all that well. So uh, Famous Fox obviously is great to see as well. Um, and a lot of other projects like ABC, Utes uh, are still doing well. Now, before I get to the third reason why I think we might have another bull run on our hands, folks, definitely go ahead and check out the Patreon guys down below in the description. If you guys would like to take your game to the next level of course uh, we're gonna have a ton of awesome content over there including information obviously on things i spot early like obviously new nfts coming up uh, including summaries of these videos some behind the scenes access and of course access to my nft discord so tons of awesome stuff guys on the patreon link down below in the description definitely go ahead and check it out so the third thing that i'm seeing personally at least is going to actually be the price of solana and the price of crypto and a lot of people go oh my god 
what does that have to do with NFTs? Well, actually a lot because Solana right now is actually up a decent amount on the month. Uh, you guys can see we hit a low here uh, a little after Christmas time here at around $8. And right now we're sitting at around double that, around 16 so I think for most people, this would be the bottom is in, uh, at least in casual terms, as a lot of people will describe it. So uh, in my view, the bottom is in for Solana and a lot of other tokens right now. Uh, market cap is up dramatically here, up to around $6 billion once again. And I do think that this will not head below, you know, 12 or 13 bucks anytime soon in the near future. And obviously, as Solana appreciates, I think the NFT community, of course, is going to benefit because NFTs obviously are what most people people are using Solana for. So uh, NFT community obviously looks to be benefiting from that largely uh, with the price of so many different projects heading up. Uh, even stuff that at the time I hadn't even really heard of, dual bots. I mean, who the heck heard of dual bots a month ago, right? Nobody. But uh, these guys are obviously killing it. And um, again, definitely a lot of new money is flowing in to the NFT industry. So uh, again, volume, of course, on Magic Eden as well over the past 24 hours at 371 thousand Solana. That is awesome. Uh, and a lot more than the volume was, say, a month or two ago. So those are just, in my view, at least, guys, a few signs that I see that have shown me that Solana will very, very likely have another NFT bull run. And of course, I do think Ethereum is going to benefit from this, of course, in the future as well. So uh, definitely, in my view, if you guys have been out of the NFT scene, this might be a good time to get back in, at least for me. Uh, I definitely do wish I was snagging up some of these projects while they were so cheap, but I didn't really have that much money to throw at them at the time, and I still don't. So again, unfortunately for me, uh, in a lot of instances, I'm just going to have to wait uh, and see what happens in the future. But regardless, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Definitely gotta drop a like and subscribe if you guys did. Check the Patreon down below in the description. Again, it's so glad to be back. My name is Matt. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.